Hello guys, you're welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Simon King. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install motion graphics in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're wondering where you can get awesome motion graphics, I would love to recommend Envato Elements. They have a lot of packs for videos, stock videos, sound effects, music, graphics templates, graphics, presentation templates, photos, fonts, add-ons, and much more. But if you want to work with Premiere Pro, you come over to the video template here, you select Premiere Pro. And once you've done that, you can come over here to the search icon under the Premiere Pro option that you have selected, and then you can type motion graphics or you can type MOGLT. So MOGLT stands for motion graphics and that is the preset format that you are going to install into your PC. Kindly check in the description section of this video for a link to Envato Elements where you can download all of this. Now let's dive right into Premiere Pro. So the first thing you want to do is install motion graphics. Now if we go right back into my folder I've installed motion graphics already now this right here is the format in which it comes it comes as a zip file you can right click and you can choose extract all but i prefer to use 7 zip and i have the option of extracting here or extracting to a folder so i've already created a folder here called motion graphics where i have extracted all these files to so i'm not going to extract it anymore so if I click on this folder, you will see a lot of the MOGLT files that were extracted here. But what basically what you're going to see immediately you launch it is you're going to see these items here. You're going to see the help file. You're going to see the previews. So if you open the help files, it's always important that you open the help files. The help files will give you information about this template. Then it will give you information about the fonts you need to download that will work fine with this motion graphics and then you will find a tutorial video in most cases but even if you download a motion graphics that doesn't come with this tutorial that is not an issue just watching this video will explain to you how to install a motion graphics and how to edit and use them in premiere pro now if you go back the next folder you will see will be previews so let's take a look at the previews now if you open this source file here you can see the different kind of motion graphics that we have. We have 15 types of motion graphics. I'll go ahead and select the first one, which is 3D, so you can see what it looks like. So you can see what these motion graphics look like. This is what it's going to look like when you install it into Premiere Pro. Select one more. So you can see, so the idea of motion graphics is that you no longer have to waste time creating this animation or this text preset. They have already been created in After Effects or in Premiere Pro. All you need to do is to change the color, change the size, change the duration, and you can work with it fast in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and see some of the other options. We also have some templates here for weddings. Alright, so these are the font types we have. You can see them in the preview. So now that you have extracted your motion graphics packs into your PC, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to install them right into Premiere Pro. So now we're back into Premiere Pro. You move into your graphics section here, click on Browse. And once you click on Browse, you'll be greeted with a lot of motion graphics. You'll come over to this plus sign down here, which says Install Motion Graphics templates you select this then you move to the folder where you have your motion graphics so i have them over here now you will notice that it's not all my motion graphics that are seen here so you might want to click on the folder and then go to where you have them so this is where i have them i'll just select 3d kinetics and then you can select anyone and import and automatically it has added you can see it at the top now, if you don't want it to be all messed up, that it's difficult for you to find it, just come over to this sort property and then sort the recent to be the one that shows at the top and not sort by file. And automatically, your most recent graphics will come to the top. So now I'm going to import a few here. So we're going to see what it looks like. But before I do that, let me import a video 
into this. Okay, let me scale this video to my frame size. So I'm going to go ahead and import a graphics here. So the first thing you will notice is that this graphics has covered the background video that we have here. I'm going to show you how to edit this graphics template. But before I do that, let me add a few more graphics into my timeline. Okay, let me just copy this video a couple of times. All right, so the first thing I'll suggest you do once you have imported your motion graphics into your timeline is to also set them to frame size. This will help me ensure that my motion graphics are within the same frame size with the sequence I'm working with. Okay, so I'm just going to drag one of these video down here to see if this motion graphics has a background beneath it. So you'll notice that in this area here, you can see this video. In this area here, you can see this video. But in this area here, you cannot see this video. That is because some of these motion graphics has automatic backgrounds that come with them. So to edit them, you want to select the motion graphics and then come over to the Edit tab and look for the background property. Now, for this particular motion graphics pack, this BG stands for background. You can choose to on it and off it. So um, I just switched it off now. But for some other packs, it might be at the top that shows background and opacity. You will reduce the opacity from 100 to 0. And that will be how you would remove the background from it. So now we've removed our background from here. The next thing you probably want to do is to edit the text. You can see now that the text is now showing properly within the video because we have set it to frame size. So you, I'll go ahead and increase this so you can see this properly. So here we have the text one, which is the first text at the top, which says welcome. We also have the text property, which is the font type. You can select and change whichever font you want it to become. We also have the font style, which is medium, condensed, italics, and all of that. You can select on bold to make it bold, italics. You can make all caps and all of that. Here you can change the color by selecting this and then you can change the color of this particular welcome text and then at this point you can change the left to right property if you want to change move the this particular text the welcome text from the left to the right and then if you want to move it up or down you turn it left for up and then you turn it right for down the same thing for everyone you can change the text style you can change the property you can change all of that you can also move it from left to right and you can on the background and off the background you can scale the text as a group if you want to scale the entire text together as a group if you want to move the entire text from left to right so basically you need to study these properties and then once you have understood that it will be easy for you to control your text now let's go ahead back to our text over here so if we take this from the beginning and make this play you will notice that there's a point where the text stops from this point to this point it is blank so you don't need that so you i'll take it to the end now take the other motion graphics over here so it's the same scenario here what i have to do is to switch off the background if you don't need it you can switch off the background and hit play so right after this text goes out it becomes blank text from here blank the motion graphics doesn't display anything so i'm going to go ahead and close all of that i'll drag in my third motion graphics now And I'll hit play. So the same scenario we're noticing here. Sorry guys, my PC is kind of lagging. The same scenario we're noticing here. 
So I'm going to off this background and then figure out where it ended. Okay, so at that point where it went out, I'm going to drag this entire clip to that end portion. I think it's the same length. So I'll hit on render right now. All right, guys. So if I play this from the beginning, you can see what it looks like now. So this is what our motion graphics looks like without editing it. At this point, it left. Let me take it back. At this point, it left. So it's probably not useful past this point. So you want to scale this to this end. So let's say at this next motion graphics, I want this to be properly aligned. So you can notice that the crate and the yaw and the unique, they are all mobbled up together. So I'll just select this, click on edit. Now for this create, Let's say I want to move it to the left, okay? Let's say I want to move the entire group to the left. I will select this G left and right and move it to the left. It looks centralized this way. So I've moved the entire group to the left. Now, the next thing I want to do is to remove this yaw from on top of this crate so it can take its own spot by the right. So I'm going to move up to it. That is text. This is the first text, the second text you can see text two here, yo, I will move it to the right. And you can see that automatically it has taken the right position. Now the last one is the text four, which is ideas. So let's say, for example, you want to change this from create your unique ideas to create your unique graphics. So you just come over here to your text four and select on these ideas and change it to graphics. And automatically you will notice that it has changed to create your unique graphics. Let's select this unique and say you want to change the color of the unique from white to green. You just come over here, select your green over here, mark it and click OK. And automatically you can see that it has changed from white to green. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section.